Let's take a look at what the vault inventory components look like out of the box. Here we have all of the available UI windows that come with the asset, ready to go. Let's take a look at them one by one. Here's the character inventory. This binds to the character when it spawns in the game. It's intended to be just a general inventory for the main character. Here we have character equipment. This also binds to the character when it spawns in the game. It's intended to isolate specific item types and restrict their slot type. So for instance, only weapons or boots could be slotted. Here we have the merchant inventory. This binds to any merchant that it's targeted to. It's intended to be used as an inventory for the merchants that it's interacting with, and it includes a sell drop slot so the character can sell items. This is the generic inventory. It can bind to any inventory and is typically used for things like loot containers. This is the tooltip prefab. If you hover over an item in any inventory, it will appear and show a tooltip of the item. This is the context menu. The context menu is toggled on when a valid item slot is interacted with or right clicked. It auto populates with all valid interactions for that item such as use or drop or equip. Note that the character equipment, character inventory, and the generic inventory all use the same script, inventory UI which simply targets an inventory and displays its content into a grid. The items that this character owns are populated in the UI grid with any of Unity's built-in layout group components, such as grid layout group, vertical layout group, and horizontal layout group, all being used separately here.